What's up guys? Today we are going to be doing an operator guide on how to play as Ram. The new operator coming to Operation Heavy Metal. So we're going to be talking all about how to use Ram effectively, how Ram is good, why she's going to change the meta, and uh, should you even play Ram? Alright, so first let's go through Ram's loadout. You have the R4C and the LMGE. The LMGE, you're going to have a 1.5 or a 2x, but honestly... I'm gonna be real. This is gonna have crazy recoil. Zofia LMG has been nerfed into the ground. This is the Zof LMG. I strongly suggest just staying away from this unless you're a console player, then maybe the recoil might be usable, but everyone is should be focused on this. The R4C, but not just the normal R4C. You're gonna have the access to the 1.5 and the 2X on the R4C, which is amazing. For grip, flash hider, you are good to go. And then, uh. You're gonna have a secondary shotgun to make like quick rotations or vert or you know like when you're in danger i mean this shotgun up close is never a bad thing but the shotgun is not going to do that much damage in a fight but you know it'll get the job done and then you're gonna have either flashbangs or hardbridge charges i i personally would suggest bringing hardbridge charges because a lot of times ramp is going to be functioning as a vertical operator and being able to open the hatches as well is going to be very very key so Ram is a three armor operator, so she's gonna make a lot of noise, but with her gadget, that's not going to make that bit, that's not gonna be that big of a deal because you're gonna be making a lot more noise than just her footsteps. <laughs> let's get into it. Now let's talk about Ram's ability for tank drones. So here, this was what they do. You throw one down and then you can choose between left turn, right turn, or just straight you won't be able to change it again so make sure you have it the way that you want and you press it to activate you can only have one active at a time one thing i like about these is that i can throw it through a door just to you know run through quickly have it active run through i can pick it up can't pick it up once it's down like that and here's what it does to the vertical so you are going to make a ton of vert that your team can use and you don't really have to uh really be active while it's happening you just have to you know let it go here's what it does to a wall look right through a wall that you're able to just crouch through no problem and yeah you're gonna make a ton of vert so for an enemy to destroy it all you have to do is shoot the little gas canister in the back bullets from the front aren't going to do anything yeah you can use explosives like impact grenades or nitros to destroy it but then i mean you're already making the vert for them so it's like doesn't really have a straight up true blue counter to be honest but uh it is going to allow for a lot of pressure so one thing that i like to do with these is i'll just place one like like so i'll turn it to the right i mean that's like going like oh no that, that's a bad one I would do like, let's say something like this. I'll turn it to the left and just have it go nuts. And like, it's gonna make me a lot of angles. Work, work a little bit of vert. A lot of vert that you're not really going to really, you know, it's going to be actually good vert. So like if I'm trying to take customs, let's say, I can watch the top, watch the top. Check the top, hatch is open. Check that vert. If I need more vert, I have a secondary shotgun. No problem. Good to go. So this gadget is extremely useful for making vert, especially because you can just kind of toss it through a window and just kind of forget about it. Okay, now we're on chalet. Let's talk about how we would attack the garage. So I just, you know, I want to make as much pressure on the defenders as possible from this position. So I'm just going to, you know, put one in there, work that vert on them, run by. I'm gonna put another one like so. But I'm gonna have this turn to the left. I should pick that up a little bit. Have it turn left more like that. You didn't adjust the breach. Makes a lot of noise as it goes around, so I'm able to make an aggressive play like so. And most defenders aren't going to fully hear exactly what i'm doing because they're going to be focused mostly on the the audio 
that was being made by my ram so this this is just two of them look at all this vert that you're going to be able to work with just two of them just kind of place haphazardly and you're going to be able to entry on the site uh, in the map as it's going off so I'm going to be playing pretty passive when my, I don't have a ram up because I am a three armor and I'm kind of functioning as an entry here. But if I wanted to make an aggressive move, what I'm going to do, throw one down and then be aggressive. Because now I have a lot of audio hidden and it doesn't matter what my armor is because nobody's going to be able to hear a damn thing in that entire moment. It's just going to be making so much audio. If anyone is, is actually in bar, they're going to be worried about the vert. They don't know if someone's above. They're going to be looking left. They're going to be looking right. They're not going to just hide in a corner because they're afraid of the vert. They are going to be moving. And if you go in aggressively with your gut up, chances are you will be able to take somebody out. And look at this R4C. With a 1-5. You're going to smoke people with this gun. This gun is crazy. So in a late round, and I, there's really no more vert to work. Let's say there's a rotate here or whatever. I really am just going to use these drones like so. I'm going to throw it in. It's going to have it go forward, and then I'm going to push it aggressively. This is how much damage it does if someone walks into it. Like, it does a little bit, but, like, obviously, you're not really going to use it for damage. But it can do a little bit. And it is going to mask all the audio in that moment. So don't be afraid to use them, even in rounds where you're not really trying to open anything. Use them to mask audio for you or your teammates. Like if someone says like, hey, I need some noise, throw one down on any type of soft destruction or just throw one in the middle of the room and it's gonna make a ton of noise for you and your team. So now let's say we're attacking on Chalet master bedroom. I'm gonna show you guys just a quick little ram route that I would personally use. Auto is a go. That's just used for a distraction to annoy the hell out of them and really just make a lot of chaos, make a lot of noise. Sip a little ram route that you can use to just push in quickly. A defenders aren't going to hear anything and you can just move in aggressive, take in a firefight. Even though you're a three armor, it's not going to matter when situations like this are happening. Because remember, when everyone's ADS, everyone else is a three armor too. Yeah, you make a lot of noise, but no one's going to hear any noise anyway. So who, get, who really cares, right? <laughs> now let's go through a couple plays and break them down and why they worked and why Ram is a pretty good operator. So here's a round is Ram. Not really used for vertical, but used more for the audio disturbances. So I'm using the ram to breach the soft wall. Now I'm using the ram. Oh, I hit my teammate with it. Now I'm using my ram to, now it's gonna work the vertical and just kind of just be a general annoyance in terms of audio. I push down because again, the audio from above, they're not really going to hear me sprint down the staircase. I push over. We take out one before it really knows I'm there. I throw another one. That's just for the audio. We do see that guy on the side. I activate it. We take him out. And then I sprint forward. And especially as a three armor, it's just great being able to sprint forward like this. Ram is active, so I am able to just get the complete jump on Warden. He did not hear a single thing of me sprinting at him full speed at him. No idea. Let's go, baby. Now let's break down this clip you guys saw at the start. So here I'm throwing. One right through the window to work the vertical on bar as well as just just be a general annoyance so I can go to this window, open it, do the exact same thing. They're not really going to hear this window open as easily. They are going to see that tank come through, but it's making a ton of noise. I swing in and we take out the warden who has no idea that I even jumped in. No audio, nothing. And again, they're not going to be able to hear anything as I push forward. You know, the cat that runs at me full sprint. She had no idea. I throw another one. Doesn't really matter. I just run through and take out another one. Getting a bunch of free kills because they no one can hear any of the audio there. So here you just, it doesn't really even need to do anything. Cause like 
at warden here isn't going to be able to shoot the canister it's going to just be making a ton of noise that i'm able to just walk in and basically just get a free kill and he can't really do anything like he's staring at the window he doesn't know this window is even open he does know i threw through the window so most good players are going to know that that window is going to be open but it really does become a, ch a game of chance if he's going to even look at the proper window or not one of the massive downsides to ram though is you do need to be careful about how much you're opening before everything is clear because this is going to be ram's biggest weakness is getting flanked while she's making a bunch of audio and noise so here like see i'm opening a ton of vert i'm opening up the hatch so much vert is made and i just get flanked from you know my side I, I can't hear a single thing it does work both ways you just have to be really careful of the audio when you are going to breach the floor like this make sure that you are watching around because defenders are going to use this against you to get the jump on you as well all right guys that's it today on how to play as ram ram is an extremely useful operator she's good for vertical so you don't have to worry about getting nitroed or killed from vert you can just toss them and forget she has an amazing gun she has a good kit and honestly you're not you're gonna have a lot of mileage as playing as ram you can do almost everything so ram definitely is in my eyes an a tier operator on an on a tier list she's an a tier i wouldn't quite put her s tier because she is a three armor but definitely an a tier and i think that um We've only yet to see how effective these rams are going to be in terms of masking audio. There's no other operator in the game that can really mask audio like this other than Fuse, and Fuse is honestly not played as often. So Ram is going to see a lot. I, I feel like Ram is going to be played a lot at higher comp in ELO because those that ability to mask audio when you're going to do an execute is extremely strong because be, getting the jump on that first guy is just the domino to winning around so being able to play around that is going to be massive plus being able to make that vertical to where you can just like you know make the vert easily at the start of the round and then kind of rotate back to it to try to find your free pick is also going to be really huge all right guys are you excited for the new season operation heavy metal i know i am all right, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. What are you guys most excited about this season? Let's get it, baby.